Hi, this is the Black Bear Prepper, and today we're going to be talking about a cool new thing that I've just come across, which is the problem I hate with 1022s, is that we have um, the standard little blade sight, which is hard to adjust, and truthfully kind of sucks. It's hard to see, and your sight picture is only as long as right here, you know, your sighting area is about half as far as it really needs to be. What we're going to be doing is installing a set of Williams peep sights. Now the sight consists of two separate parts. You're going to be putting on a peep sight, which is fully adjustable, which I really like. And the really cool thing about this sight is, is you can unscrew the back aperture and turn it into more of a tactical type sight where it's really big. Or if you want to do some long range shooting, some 100 yard type stuff, screw in your aperture back in and you cut it down to about a quarter of the size. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This is a really, really super install, easy install. The uh, start here is we're gonna go ahead and take our blue thread locker. We wanna use blue, not red, don't use red. I put a drop on top of the actual items and then I'm gonna put a drop on each screw Now we've already unscrewed the original ones, which are really tiny, look about like that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Now I always put a little drop on top. It helps expand a little bit and kind of hold it in place, kind of like a lock nut. I do that with all of our, you know, our mow rods and things like that. It just seems to help a little bit. And then like I said, just a drop on each screw. That's all you need. You don't need to sit there and really coat those suckers. and just get it real nice and snug. You don't need to over tighten it by any means. We just snug it up and the thread locker will keep it. Now one thing I do recommend you do is after you're done disassemble your gun and make sure these screws have not come all the way through the receiver uh, because that can cause jamming issues. So if you are having any issues and you haven't checked check underneath there to see if those screws are protruding below there. Now as always this is a safety checked gun there's no mag and we have a safety flag inside the gun. The next thing we're going to be doing and this can be kind of hard so kind of keep an eye on it. What we're going to do I'm going to have you kind of tilt up over here we're going to be knocking off the old sight because the old sight is no longer usable. So that little fold down sight is now useless. So we're just going to go ahead. We've kind of already tapped it through. It does leave this little groove here, but you can, you can get it. There's a couple little things online. You can get to put over top of it. I don't think it's that big a deal. The most important one we're going to be doing though is the front sight and the front sight now has to be removed completely because it's no longer tall enough to work with the site we're going to be using. So again, we've knocked that one loose and it leaves you with this nice little groove here. Now the site that's on there originally, go ahead and save it. Save all your parts. Never know when some might need to be replaced. But uh, you know, the little dovetails. And these guys are fairly tough. I knocked it out of there in one little knock just because I already had it started basically. But this is fairly tough, so you're going to have to get a little aggressive with it when you tap it back in. What you will be putting on will be their new fiber optic sight, which is kind of a cool little sight. Um, it's just fiber optic on the front, which is what I like. You know, when in a fight, use your front sight. So you'll take your front sight and flip it back over here so you guys can see it. Get it started and just tap that guy. And once you kind of get it halfway there, kind of take a look, make sure that it's not over crossing over that guy. And we're gonna go ahead and just finish tapping that guy home with a with a uh, you know punch here to make it a little better. And 
And I don't, if you can, try to use the hammer as much as you can. You might want to put a little tape on there. And this is not the best location for doing this, of course. But it really works well for showing you guys the videos. So we're going to check it one more time. Just to see how close we are. We're getting pretty close. And this is a pretty flush mounted item. So once it's flush, it usually works pretty well. And I'm sure there's a special little tool that if you guys wanted to go to Brownells or something like that, they make a special tool for knocking this guy into place, probably for Glocks and things like that. But we don't have that here, so we're just going to go ahead and keep whacking on it. And just kind of going to tap that guy home. And once we've got it flush, and we've actually gone a little too far, we're going to go ahead and do that one more time, and just kind of tap it back, and it's a little tricky to get it exactly perfect. The nice thing is, it is adjustable. So once we've got it flush on both sides, you can kind of see it's, it is a little tough, and you do scar it up. If you've got a set of brass chisels, that'd be definitely the way to go. But I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but we'll try to look down through the camera here and see that, let me take off the aperture hole here, maybe you guys can see the, tar the actual sights through it. Right through here and see that nice fiber optic sight on the end. It increases your sight rail here, which makes it a lot nicer. It screws into the factory system. It is fully adjustable. And what I like about it is I'm able to pop up see it, shoot the target much, much faster. So I'm not sitting there dealing with a target that's hard to see. But the really neat thing is, is I can sit here, screw in my peep sight if I want to make some long range shots. And this, this particular gun's kind of more set up as a tactical type gun. But we're able to pick it up and really put a nice target onto a 100 yard sight. So kind of a really cool idea. Uh, very cheap. I got these online for about 40 bucks. Um, I've seen them upwards of $60, $80. You just got to look around. But like I said, I did buy these uh, for the 1022 for that really reasonable price of about 40 bucks. So this is uh, Black Bear Prepper. Have a great day, and you know, we'll see you later.